I think the community wanted to make sure that we had a way to verify that when the tax sales passes, that money will be spent in a correct manner. So in order to do that, the, com the community wanted to make sure that the committee was independent and also be able to verify that the school was spending the money the way they say they were. What I think is the most important part of it is that it's providing the accountability that the community so desires. You know, ultimately, what's happened is people have wanted to know that the tax dollars are really going to be spent on the schools, on the facilities, on the security, on the, the educational technology that is so much in need of repair. So it's critical that this committee be there to evaluate the quarterly reports because it'll parallel the sales tax and it'll basically allow people to, to really have a feel for what was it spent on and was that what was intended and, and it should really tie it all together and, and uh, kind of validate the whole process. When we first started we created a charter and basically what we have done is identify what is the role of the committee, what are the different category of the committee, and then a process on how we're going to select the initial members of the committee. And then once we get that established, then the committee will be able to do that on their own for the future members of the committee. Diversity. We're looking for people that have a good grasp on what a school system is about, but they don't necessarily have to have ever worked in that school system. Could be people such as, uh, uh, could be anybody from an attorney to someone working in construction. Could be a, a home a homemaker could be somebody who's moved from up north or from the south, from wherever. It's the cross-section of our Brevard people who are paying the sales tax that need to make up the committee. We're going to advertise the positions in the newspaper and we have created a job description that says here's what the what the members of the committees will do and then we also identify the skills that are needed for each each member of the committee and then once we put that in the newspaper then we'll go through an application process and then we'll have a selection committee that will decide who are the right candidates to be uh, members of the committee Well, naturally, because it's a lot, a lot of it is a role of accounting. You know, we're essentially going to be looking at what was proposed versus what happened. And there's going to be exceptions. There's going to be times when a capital improvement um, that was originally projected does not end up coming to fruition. And that's one of the things the committee needs to be able to explain. Because people are counting on the list that's been, been basically out there per school of what exactly is going to happen with limited dollars from the surtax. So this committee is going to identify especially things that don't happen and they a lot of times they're not going to happen because something of higher priority will have to occur instead. We have had a great cooperation between Bavard Public School, BFT, BPAC and actually I think having all the all the different groups together has helped one create the charter and two create the job subscription and it helped us all work together as one big team. So it's been a, a great relationship that we had.